two that's, years afterwards, you'd be like, Crownie's the best beer oh, in the world. Yeah. Until you finally like. That's go like somewhere. your first beer when you're sixteen. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's the first dad. sip of real beer. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Every now and then you turn up at a, like a rich kid's twenty first and they're serving that. Oh, better tuck my shirt in. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome along to the Community Notice Board. Another episode of Community Notice Board podcast. Hey, podcast, you're fucking looking at me. <laughs> uh, I was like, he's got his lays on, he's going to call me a fat nerd. <laughs> just be like, nice intro, dickhead. <laughs> it's not a bullying podcast, hey, so Everything's a bullying podcast. Yeah, that's true. Podcasters <laughs> should be bullied at all times. <laughs> How do you cope with hosting your own podcast it's knowing you're a nerd? A lot of fucking sleepless nights. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Cody's got the flight simulator and I was like, Luke can't have approved this. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> You must be there being like, I want the borders to open back to Brisbane so I can bash you. (laughs) I was out of that board meeting where we decided that one. (laughs) That's funny. All right, I'll try to introduce our guest. I'll look just at Alex. Welcome to Community Notice Podcast, uh, Community Notice Board Podcast, podcast about the suburbs we grew up in, local landmarks, and the hometown heroes that we love. We've got a very special guest. Fucking Luke Hagee's here. How are you, mate? Pretty good. King, what's Mm. going on, Luke? Much just living the dream. You're living the dream, and you are from originally Brisbane, but what part of Brizzy? Chapel Hill. Chapel, Chapel Hill. Hill. We yeah. did a bit of research. Did you? Nothing there. A bit. Yeah, there's not much there. going on. <laughs> no, there's nothing going on. I think I could Especially update the Wikipedia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could add some stuff to it. I think because there's yeah. nothing. It's uh, but it's uh, I guess I it's, saw one thing about Chapel Hill that was like the somber story about the one chapel on the hill. Oh. And I read that fucking thing three times and I was like, what's somber about this? And I just could not pass it. Because it was just like they had like a grave there and they're like, one of the guys died. And I was like, oh man, they've got a fucking thousand word <laughs> article about like the mystery yeah. of Chapel Hill. And it's just yeah. like, yeah, a guy got old and he died there and they buried him there. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty grim. Is it's it, not, yeah. Not like, much. is it like real sub- just suburbia rich sort Absolutely. of? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, d- Probably now more so than then. Yeah. This is 40, you know, my parents bought a house there in the late 60s and just stayed there. Yeah. Back when people used to buy a house and fucking live in it. Yeah. <laughs> rather than, rather <laughs> than split it, know, subdivide it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Not a lot of so, negative gearing wasn't yeah. probably. They, they just scraped together 5,000 bucks and bought a yeah. 400 square meter That's property. exactly what they did, yeah. And then just lived in it for 30 years. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, That's great. But, yeah, there's not much going on there. It's, oh. it's pretty, you've got to make your own fun. Oh, okay. So you are, uh, is there like a like a school there sort of thing and then a couple of shops and that sort of it or? Ah, uh, fuck, man. Uh, yeah, there's a primary school, which we didn't go to. We, we, I used to walk to school to the Catholic boys' school a few kilometres away. Oh. And oh. Um, yeah, that was, that was at Indrapilly on the river. Oh. I don't know if it, I'm just talking Brisbane, Jenga now, whatever. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, there was a school there, hardly any shops. A yeah. grumpy cycle shop, I think. A service station. Yeah. That's it. No that pubs? Nice. No nothing? No, not a pub. I think there's there's one now, like a burger joint, little I, pub. I saw a place that thing, is kind thing. of... It's it's crazy how many like out there towns eventually the small bar craze comes. Oh man, to yeah, hipsters are moving. Chapel, yeah, Chapel Hill, and it's like, yeah, we're slinging American style burgers, yeah, and we yeah, got yeah, cocktails, yeah. and you're yeah. like, fuck. This must go out so far, you know, yeah. like somewhere in yeah. the outback, like where it's got one BP, but it's got one place that's like, we're doing a lagerita. Yeah. It's a Corona yeah. port. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we all, we all rip into hipsters and why not? But it's a better, as a trend, it's much more peaceful and sort of better than, you know, bombers. Yeah. Remember bombers, you get fucking roll for your shoes. <laughs> <at the shops. laughs> Hipsters aren't doing that. Hipsters aren't doing <laughs> that. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they're rolling you by charging $18 yeah, yeah. for a fucking beer. <laughs> yeah. And they're just but being like, yeah, you'll buy it because there's nothing else in the yeah, area unless yeah. you want to go to this pub and get glassed by yeah, a bomber. Yeah. It would be a bit weird if they, like, because the shops are like either a, a thousand year old takeaway that's fallen apart, you know, with like the photos of the burgers, or it's like a burger. So it'd be weird if you just started a greasy takeaway these days. You know what I mean? Like, I feel oh, like. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll come back. You reckon? Yeah. The, that's a like, trend. The though. potato scallop and the, yeah. the you know, bank of deep fries. Yeah, just, I'm kind of. Just nostalgia will bring that yeah. back. One of those places that just has like the black like fucking griddle pan that goes yeah. the whole length of the store, yeah. and you'll be like, yeah. I want a burger, and you just see him get that like. 
that little that spatula right. that has like uh, been dipped in like four day old margarine. Then yeah. they pour oh, the entire yeah. tub on it. And you know, you like, see oh, a place yeah. that looks at perfect level of shittiness that you know the food's going to be good. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's just oh, like yeah. they don't have to look nice to yeah. survive. So there must be something going on mm. there. A couple of weeks that. ago, me and Han were down at um, Jerangong and there's like one fish and chip shop in the place we stayed and everybody like, because it was literally the only shop. So everybody yeah. goes there and we rocked up on the first day and the guy was so fucking gro- like, you know, when people are angry that you're in yeah, the store and you're yeah. giving them money, like right. this, none of this makes sense. But he, he hated me. Like I walked in I like, Hey man, I just, uh, you know, we got fish and chips, whatever, a couple of drinks. This dude could not have hated me more. And I was just, uh, like rattled me so much that two days later I went back to get a burger, like on the way home. I was like, cause I just love like a burger with a lot. Oh, yeah. And Way I to protest, in. mate. Go back in and give him more uh, money. Well, no, I was really... <laughs> <laughs> I, wanted I him, showed him. <laughs> I wanted him to get on my side. I was like, yeah. I'm practicing my line. I'm rehearsing out the front, you know? And then I went in and just was like, hey, man, could not have been friendly. Like a total 180 on no, this guy. Right. And I was like, oh, so what's you your hated, idea? Hated, hated Hannah then. Think, yeah, like that. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah. You know what's gone at the fish and chip shop is a fucking getting extra scallops. Yeah. I got yeah. three. I've ordered three scallops, got three the other day. I nearly fucking drove back there. <laughs> so what's, what's happened here, man? Throwing them out. That's, that's not on. There used to be a, I mean, I know it's a, a, I don't know, a bit of a trope, but there was a fish and chip shop where I grew up in Newey. And yeah, you for like, it's the only thing you could afford as a kid. Like it went with your own money. You go down, it'd be like a dollar fifty, and you get half a kilo of fucking oh, chips, yeah. caked in chicken salt. I don't know how they fuck. Like this place also multiple times people found deep fried cockroaches in their chips. Sick. And you'd just be like, <laughs> again, flick it out, <laughs> yeah. but you'll be back the next week because, yeah. like, you know, yeah. you can't argue with That's it. That's a one off. The five times it's happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, There's nothing places. wrong with it. But Sometimes I sometimes like, you get a good crunch on if those. They bad got rid boys. of that place, like. And put in a the, the place I'm thinking of when I grew up and put in a fucking yeah, a shitty American burger joint. He, yeah, the soul's gone of that suburb. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, you yeah. go to the city for that. You don't have it in the suburbs. Yeah. You just want that shithole. Like, the one yeah. in Queenbo is uh, it's owned by this like dude who's the most energetic. He's like fucking tiny, like tinier than me. That's how t- tiny we're talking. This is a small. Boy. That's a small, <laughs> small man. But he's like the most. Like he'll be serving you while he's like flipping burgers behind him and going oh, yeah. and he's very like enthusiastic loves it and it's all his family who just work there mm. and the burgers are still the burger with the lot last time i went there was six dollars fifty like that is well, outrageous I, yeah us. i don't know at some stage of my life burgers went from three to twenty five dollars fuck is that it's mad it's a basic just, ingredient even the same, the same with like bars in the city when i turned like 18 it was, you could smoke indoors it was paradise and mm. they would always every place would have happy hour three dollars and you start working there and you just watch inflation at work and you're oh. just like, fucking, I'm working the city. I'm fucking part of the problem. I'm a capitalist pig. Yeah, yeah working for the money and now it's $6.50 <laughs> a fucking happy hour. And yeah, I'm yeah. sitting there furious. Well, we, the, I had that moment the other day. There's a fucking gig that we did and twelve dollars dollars for a bottle of beer. Yeah. Twelve oh, bucks. Yeah. That Not should a, be wasn't a legal. A, uh, tall, no, 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 just a Heineken, one. like normal size, and that was the cheapest beer at twelve oh, bucks. That's, that's, that's a bit normal. of an anomaly. Like I think he's trying to start a trend. Like we can all do it, guys, if we yeah, you know, if we yeah, jack these prices. Ten. Like that's, ten's a joke, but to go that extra yeah, two bucks yeah. is just like yeah. come off it. I, I always thought that scumbags did this, but I've turned into a hip flask. Take her out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Speaking of <laughs> devil. <laughs> I mean, not every night. That's I don't great. go out midweek to a gig and take a hippie, but if I'm, yeah, yeah generally, like away at a comedy festival or something, the hippie's fucking full every night. Beautiful. That's awesome. Right. What's, what's, the, what's the hippie full with? Oh, like JMOs. Something, it's fairly bog standard. Well, yeah. And you just swigging straight or are you doing the generally old school, I'll get like a, I'll put it in soda water or a Coke or something? No, I'll get a, like a iced water yeah. drink the water and just have it <laughs> yeah. on ice sometimes I've got a little flask like it's a real it's a one cup flask I, I'll put ice in that before I go out take so I've got ice for my we and, yeah, um, it's good me and the boys because we wanted we went to the cricket once I think it was the Sydney test or whatever and we were poor and it's so expensive to buy beers and we sat down and thought about it and my mate his genius was like I know what we'll do so because they search your bags yeah. right at the cricket so what he did was he got a fucking Three liter pump sunscreen. Oh, put it in the dishy. Danger. <laughs> yeah, flushed it all out. Uh, right, and they took like a couple so, of times. Yeah, no, no, no. and then he drank the water out of it. It's fine, and then filled it up with vodka. 
And then we went there and we opened the esky and it's like, we've got some orange juice because you can bring other stuff in, you just can't bring grog. Yeah. And then cups and they're like, yep, so. And then we just had the iron, the sunscreen near our feet and we just have an orange juice, put it down near our feet, give it a little couple of pumps and oh, sit there all day. Right. Yeah, we like, had to do shit like that. Was, it, we used to, when I grew up, like, oh, I was a drinking age. You could take just a carton of beer into the Gabba. Yeah. Sick. You take an esky, full of beer, sit there, get maggot all day. That would be But then, the in the middle of all my fun, I must have been about 20, they said, no, no more. So... We're like injecting oranges. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Getting all scientific about it. Those, those freezer packs, you do yeah. the same thing. Just yeah, sterilise yeah, yeah. one of them, fill it Beauty. up with booze. So we we always ask it, the guest um, for a drink. Now, oh, yeah. this, was, this was your suggestion? Well, no. He- Heggy said beer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, and I so I thought if we're talking about like beer when we're growing oh, man, up and be. we're doing 18ths and stuff like that and being in high school, yeah. Crown Lager is the ultimate in like Bogan class, I reckon. Like, oh, there's always yeah. at every party, there's I think like the hierarchy goes like Ted's at the very bottom. Yeah. Uh, I guess, what would that be in... Were Ted's around in Queensland? Forex. Uh, we yeah, we so pretty much 4X. just had Forex, Forex, Gold, yeah. VB and that. Carl yeah. Cold back in the day was yeah, the, the, the dream. That dreads. came out mid-90s. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Can't cold a hard ice. So it'd be mm. that and then there'd be like 50 fucking Ted's and then somewhere hidden away like a dad would yeah. be like, all right, mate. Like, well, yeah, you seem all right. Yeah, yeah, How about yeah. a fucking crown? <laughs> Stand up on the top shelf, <laughs> yeah, yeah. get the crown. And, and like then for like two years afterwards, you'd be like, crown is the best beer oh, in the world yeah. until you finally like That's go like somewhere. your first beer when you're 16. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's the first sip of real beer. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Every now and then you turn up at a, like a rich kid's 21st and they're serving that. Oh, better tuck my shirt in. Take <laughs> <laughs> like it easier. Like the yeah. crumbs off That's like whip. even like the... Because I used to do like a fair few part, like 18s and like paddocks and like uh, acreage and like mm. um, Kenthurst and stuff. And they when they'd have that and they'd have the Ted's, they'd have the VB stubbies before VB kind of came back in a fashion as a like yeah. hipster sort of thing. And then like people who bought like foreign beers were looked at real cockeyed, you know? Oh, they'd yeah. just be like, oh, nice beer. Would you bring your skirt with it, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you'd be like, I like a Bex, you my, know? <laughs> my, my uncle and auntie live in Cairns and they're very fucking, not bogan, just like salt of the earth. Yeah. And my sister, they came down to Newcastle and my sister had a party and dad being a bit of a dag bought Ted's and some sort of pale ale full of the esky and my uncle and my auntie turn up and they're looking around and they're having a quiet word to each other and then my auntie's like yeah we're gonna just go down the road and get some real beer oh. Uh, oh. and literally walk down the road the two of them and came back with a fucking slab of crownies and oh. I'm like oh, you guys oh. are all I was such yeah, a yeah. fuck oh. you to them yeah. as well I remember going to uh, I went to a formal when I was 18 but the I was at Queenbo High and this chick was at a private school and Ooh. she's like, oh, we're doing pre-drinks at my friend's house. And it was in like a, one of the swanky Canberra suburbs. And I rocked up. I brought a six pack. I think it was Corona even. Because I was like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. Before Family expense. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I rocked up and, um, and straight away, like the dad just clocks it. I'd brought my own beer and was like, okay, that's weird. And like took me to the side room and like put it in a fridge. And then took me out the back. And they had... Bought, they had like waiters and waitresses walking around with drinks on trays oh, and stuff. Oh, but I was shit. just like a fucking idiot. I was like, yeah. I've been to a house party. You bring your own beer. Yeah. And then I'm st- like, I think so less of you. Super uncomfortable. Like, yeah. That, Sick. Like, straight away felt like, <laughs> all right, I'm out of place here. But then just ended up because I'm, I'm still like this to this day. If I if there's free things, I'm indulging and yeah, so i was right, like yeah. what, what and i was just like <laughs> double fisting beers the entire time take your own back home with you water, I like yeah. the should idea we have that's just yeah fucking, that's fucking stayed with you as well you're like when you go to a house party you bring something so you have like rich Thanks, friends man. who are getting engaged at their house they have people in like three-piece suits bringing around you know canapes and champagne you're just like yeah i've got I've got a couple of ted's here <laughs> yeah. anyone want to indulge and they're like so you have to leave the party <laughs> ted what? fucking sucks oh, it's so bad it's one of the worst it, it is they've even embraced on their new ad campaign yeah i, I saw that down at mcdonald's town there was a crazy thing. what it is was it? a, what's the ad campaign oh i'll show you drew I that people hate it, it essentially go, we're average it yeah. was, with a, with a it's just like a bunch average. of reviews of people being like it's not good it's not look bad. at this the adelaide of beer <laughs> like yeah there's a, i, I guess like, like adelaide to, I like, tourism board say about that? i love poking <laughs> and they're uh, like yeah come to adelaide it's the twoies extra dry of states you know poking poking a bit of fun at yourself but it's like what are you yeah, actually saying that it's just we are bad that's a so fucking mad campaign it's, it's dude, not like we're second best or something it's yeah, like we're shit exactly <laughs> it's not like it, dependable but no frills it's I literally that. yeah i was in a ted ad 
Oh, really? Um, well, maybe this is one of the best things I've ever gotten in terms of cash. But I was the voiceover for the, there's one where the guy's mouth jumps off his face and starts yelling at him. <laughs> and I was, I was a mouth. Oh, so, really? I remember that, eh? Yeah, yeah. Cash. Did you just, did it, was it scripted or you just got to riff it yourself? Uh, a little bit of both, but generally just scripted. I'm not a, I hate fucking riffing. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 you employ copywriters, write a fucking ad. Yeah. That's what I hate about auditions. They go in and go, just add a bit and see if you can write something, some lines for it. No, you yeah. fucking write the ad. <laughs> <laughs> they never give you the spot once yeah, you've written yeah, a line yeah. for them. That's yeah. great. But I, I, um, one of the worst parties I've ever been to was one of my mate, my mates, um, Bucks Knight, and he was marrying a um, a Christian girl, and he was trying to be straight of the like, you know, fucking like, toe the line, <laughs> and so he was like, if anyone gets a stripper, they're not coming to the wedding. I was oh, like, yeah. he's a fucking dour. It was a real shit. Company. Was he winking while he did? No, like hundred <laughs> percent. Like he was angry at the thought of us even not thinking he was serious about it. You know, because yeah. we're like, come on, dude. We weren't even going to do it, but just the attitude. Anyway, he uh, he gets blind at his at his own box, mm. smokes a fucking cone with his crazy cousin, passes out by nine o'clock, and so it's all his family are all looking after him, and then they're like, "He's in bed," so you know we're going to wrap up soon, and we just look around and there's like a case and a half of Ted's there. <laughs> So me and my mates just grab them all and run home to our, to our <laughs> fucking our other mate's house and say, smash them all. He's just part, he's green. Oh, text out. the strip of the new address. Yeah. Like, <laughs> last minute change. Does this kind of have the goal to wake up in the morning and be like, I ate some bad fish? Or is he like actually copping to the fact that he greened out? After he was time? like, it's something was that weird, man, or something weird. But he was angry we took the beers. I'm like, dude, you pass out your own box at yeah. 9 p.m. Oh, like, I mean, like, drink spiking is such like a real issue for women. At the same time, not being a real issue for blokey oh, guys yeah. who are the first people to jump at their drinks being spiked at the moment yeah. they get a little bit <laughs> pissed. Like, the amount of yeah. parties where I've been to where some guys like do it, like, oh, it's a fucking nudie run at nine. And it's like, my fucking drink got spiked. And you're like, mate, there were four of us there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we were just sitting there listening to music. Yeah. You drank the cake. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was the 30th drink that got spiked. <laughs> that, was, that was the one. Um, you mentioned you had to make your own fun because it's a boring suburb. Yeah. Which, uh, like, to me, that just screams mischief. Yeah. And knowing you, you're a bit of a fucking mischief <laughs> maker. <laughs> Even to this day. I'd say you're a bit of a larrikin. <laughs> <laughs> The Aussie larrikin. What, what, um, <laughs> are you, what are we knocking and running? We're doing. Well, I mean, say you're one of the uh, loosest Aussie blokes, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a spot available. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that guy's getting his path from us. <laughs> Um, yeah. Man, I reckon that'd do him some good. Like, be, <laughs> yeah, be, yeah, for sure. There'd be yeah. more people going to his next show. No than one's ever. arguing now, be like, yeah. He could also sick. just go on Instagram and be like, mate, pretty loose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, what, do what do you think's going to happen? The show's got loose. <laughs> did he well, already pull the mental card? Didn't he do Nah, he pulled he? the mental health card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah. Fucking hell. Pulled the old, I don't know. Well, just like, I, I get a bit sad occasionally. Yeah. yeah. Right. You look smart and do Black dog made me do it. He was dodging those things like Neo in the <laughs> Matrix. Good. Like, he was fucking. I'm surprised he didn't catch one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, that would have oh, been fucking good, man. That would have made his career. Yeah. Like, people would have been like, we got to give this kind of Netflix. Well, that would have been like the, <laughs> the Jim Jeffries getting yeah. bashed or punched on stage. Yeah. And, mm. um,. And that, like, I don't know if that made his career, but that sort of made him it pop early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, if he had fucking caught one and then throw it back at him, fuck me. I'm surprised comedians haven't tried to stage getting bashed on stage. Yeah. That like, would... you'd pick it because it'd be too well filmed or something. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be, I think I don't know, that man. would be... I just think no one would man. buy the idea that anyone. a comedian would fight back. Like mm. eventually, like it would have to be someone insanely testosterone fueled. But any other to, time, like to, if someone to storm a stage. Well, no, I think like if someone storms a stage and the comedian like fucking physically goes at him, people would be like, "Fake, <laughs> this guy's a bitch." Yeah, you know? like you've had oh. a gig where someone in the crowd is really getting upset. No, you're you're not if, if someone stormed the stage, I'd fucking towel them up. If yeah. I could. Like you're not, I'm not cop. They get a yeah. mic stand in the face. I think I'd, I'd roll over on my back immediately. Yeah. <laughs> like, do whatever you want to me. I learned this from my dog. <laughs> If, if you're submissive, they'll just leave you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Cover yourself in shit or something. <laughs> yeah, just... well, you're assuming that I'm not already covered in shit whenever I do a spot. He shat himself. Four minutes. When the, when the guy first heckled him, Jamie shat his pants. So that's all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, we fuck. did. We, I mean, we did have to make our own fun. But I forgot to say earlier, there was one more thing that you wouldn't have found at Chapel Hill because mm. it's gone. It's now a car dealership, obviously, but walkable from my house was a Sizzler restaurant. Oh, oh yeah. the dream. And rest in peace. Fucking I think they just declared final bankruptcy for They've all, all gone? Are you sure? I they're think, I think there are a couple one. left, but they're all saying they'll be closed by the end of the year. Because there's one relatively near us. There's one like around the Campsie region, I believe. What? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Campsy, Sydney Campsy. Yeah, yeah. Like I've driven past it on the way to no, like Campsy. So George one's gone. I think like what's what's further than Campsy? It's not. Like it, like around that area, like, there is one more Sizzler. Like it's yeah, on the drive when you go to like Wollongong and stuff. Because I always see it. And oh, like right. we gotta stop there. Oh. oh, that's the one down at. Um, I think it's closed. Yeah, the, I'm, I I think the St George all area, where, it'll, whatever the St George. Um, I've never heard of a chain down there. be so unanimously loved yet just so unsuccessful. I don't yeah. understand the the, the oh man, money it doesn't fucking work. boomed in the yeah. late '80s. Mm. That boomed. But is that like? But everyone has fond memories of. I don't know. Did you guys ever go there yeah, and yeah. shit? I as remember a, loving it. As a kid, it. I, I wouldn't have gone. It. I went as an adult as a joke and didn't really enjoy it. Just the <laughs> all-you-can-eat thing just blew my fucking mind as a kid. You're yeah. Like, what? I'm Is going it? back for more potato skins. Yeah. yeah. I'm what? walking up like this, doing it. No one's fucking. <laughs> no one's chasing me out. Fuck Double this. Double bird. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll have another skin and fuck yourself. As well. <laughs> Did you guys have all-you-can-eat proper all-you-can-eat where it was like? Because Sizzler was... Was that all you can eat everything or just a salad bar thing? Just a salad bar. It was right. more than enough for kids. Yeah, but yeah. then, yeah, you'd have to order a steak or yeah, something. We, eat all the cheese. We had, um, we had two RSLs near each other that both had Chinese, but like all you can eat and they just did, you know, the all you can eat prawns, all you can eat like the whole... The big four. Everything. <laughs> and yeah, and they, you would just... <laughs> you would go <laughs> mental at them. And it was yeah. a whole thing about you'd walk in and try to... Th- Think how you can get your money back, you know, trying yeah, to do yeah, the yeah. weight of the prawns it's and gross, people. Isn't it? It's just, just revolting. It's, it's but it's such a horrible concept. I know, I know. You can eat, isn't it? And people would line up and then, you know, uh, like just piling chicken nuggets on your plate and fucking like yeah, ice yeah. cream and stuff. You just feel disgusting. Oh, it's all. fucking gross. There's, but, and there's, there's like fancy. Have you ever been to like a fancy all you can eat? I have overseas, not in Australia. They're in <laughs> He's like, well, that's. What an oxymoron! <laughs> um, <laughs> just in a bow tie, three piece suit, just like <laughs> stuffing your face with chicken, chicken nuggets. He's still got pluggers on. Too. There's one at like one of the, some one of the hotels in Canberra, like a you know classic, like a Ridges or a Hyde or whatever. They do this lunch thing, and um, it was my girlfriend's auntie's birthday or some like some tenuous thing where I was just like, "Do you want to do an all you can eat? It's all you can eat seafood." And I was like, "Fucking absolutely!" Mm. Yeah, and went there, and it full on like. I'm talking the collared shirts, everyone's tucked in. And I just had, I just went straight back to like free stuff mindset. And I was just fucking yeah. blown. Like people will treat it like, I'm going to have a nice meal and maybe a dessert. And I was yeah. like, I'm going to have like, you. I'm like bouncing a roast on this hand and I got a full <laughs> snapper on this hand. It was fucking Great. incredible. There's like, a few traps. You've got to steer clear of chips and bread and stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. 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 my old it. boy have, he'd be, have tips. He'd get full, go get a piece of lettuce, chew on that. It'll settle your stomach down and then you're ready yeah, to go. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that Could was you, the new tickle your throat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we chew game. on lettuce because there's nothing in lettuce, but your body, will, <clears throat> you feel like you're doing something. And so, he, yeah. just I went okay. to a, there, there was a there tip. used to be a cafe in Queanbeyan called the Central Cafe that was mm. like, it was famous for years and years and years and they had the biggest mixed grill. Mm. Like the mixed grill was just fucking enormous. Everyone Liver? Like, was there liver on it? Probably. I, no, I, no. I never oh, yeah, went through it. I was a kid. Oh, no. But I went there once as just, yeah, like I was, I don't know, 12 or something. And it was a bunch of like family friends and stuff. And this guy, Vinny, shout out to Vinny, uh, a, f- a boyfriend of a friend's auntie, like that mm-hmm. much of a sideline sort of person who's, mm. so we're all like, everyone knows each other. And then you got Vinny and he's, he orders a mixed grill and he's tucking into it and he gets about halfway through and the restaurant is full and he gets up and just starts doing full on like aggressive lunges yeah. because he's like trying to, to work it down. He go, yeah, he, yeah. He's like, I'm trying to clear up more space. Like, and he's just hitting it. And every, everybody in the restaurant is staring at him. <laughs> 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 And then he sits down, finishes the mix. That's a man committed to the fucking art form, yeah. man. That's that Jesus. rules. I reckon yeah. Vinny's dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, One lunge too many. And he, yeah, his yeah. heart just popped out of his chest. Here's something um, interesting, because I, I try to do a little bit of research on the area for yeah. like Google reviews, mm. right? Because yeah. I love like people's reviews. on there, there is a... You mentioned it was a service station. I don't know. So Kenmore is the next suburb, is it? Yeah, man. And that there's a Caltex at Kenmore and Danielle leaves a one-star review... And she says twenty six ninety for a plate of microwave veggies, and if that's what you call a steak, keep to selling fuel. <laughs> what the fuck's going on at Caltex <laughs> Kenmore? <laughs> are they selling food? <laughs> oh, I <laughs> love that. Yeah, so they they are. Salad I at the server. So I don't. Know that's on that's, her for ordering that. But I, yeah, one of course. That's on her for going there and ordering food. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I thought she must have missed. 
done it in the wrong place, but she says, keep to selling fuel. And then she says, staff, wow, one idiot who can't count and one who thinks the place is a free dating service. Absolutely gobsmacked. So she's at, it must be one of those like roadside, but but it's in a suburb. It doesn't make sense. But you know, there's restaurants are attached to the suburb. Like that's, I know where it is. And it's, I mean, I was there. I must have been there about a year ago. There was no restaurant in Caltex. <laughs> so she's, she's got, got five crazy. green cuisines. That's crazy. Has paid might that. Not, must, one must have opened up next door or something. Uh, that, but I just like, because if she didn't say steak, you'd also be like, maybe she got some sort of like little like pie thing or something. Yeah, but yeah. she says a steak. Yeah, like, yeah, maybe it's like, like turned gourmet, like those ones that you know they got the barrel with the hay and there's cans of coke in the hay yeah, and shit. Maybe yeah, they've yeah. gone like that. Yeah, right. and there's like steak, you know, Thai beef salad for fucking twenty six bucks pre packed. Coke oh, tastes better that's, coming out oh, of the hay love that. <laughs> yeah. And um, the also which uh, you mentioned it before, is it Indurapilly? Is that the Indurapilly? Yeah. Indurapilly. That's Mate, the big area for a, for a long time. The biggest shopping centre in the southern hemisphere. Thanks very much. Holy oh, moly! Oh, yeah. Wow. What over took it? Castle Towers. Castle Towers, uh, is where I'm from, I think claims it now. But I mean, oh fucking well before that. Some guy from Indurapilly comes up and beats me up for it. I'm no, not no, no, no. It. it wouldn't be now. It's like 1980. Right. It was a big, it was like Southern Hemisphere has always been a bit of a fucking stretch for anything. Yeah, yeah. Got, yeah. Who we're are we compete- competing against? Peru, Come on. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Also, <laughs> a lot of people like Southern Hemisphere discarding Asia. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I don't well know. Yeah. most of, oh yeah, I suppose now. A little bit. Fucking pre that, there was most most stuff's north of the equator that's any, oh, yeah, any yeah, 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 yeah. of, of any of size in nineteen eighty. Just say Australia, you know what I mean? But shopping town, any... yeah, that's where we used to have to go to well, the shops. And f- yeah. It, it grew and grew that joint, but that's yeah. where you get your shoes taken off you by bombers at the bus station. Oh, wow, really? At Indra, yeah. Well, I didn't because I had KT twenty sixes my whole life. But <laughs> if you if you bought a pair of Nikes or something, they get you get rolled. Right. So if you went in there, bought a pair of Nikes, come out, they'd take them off. So well, you not, went to the shops. Not as a matter of they're not standing at the door. <laughs> <laughs> come on, mate. But just every now and then you get yeah you get people getting rolled for shit. Fuck. I love this because uh, there's a pig and whistle there. Is that? A ch- yeah. That's a chain in because I was in Brazil for a while. That there are around a little bit. It's a British style pub, mm. right? Yeah. But someone there was a comedy gig there. Yeah, and it's a it's one of the I don't know. You you would definitely would have done it at some point. No, right? I haven't done it. Oh wow. No. It is. I've said this the other night. It's the to me. It's the worst setup gig I've ever done more than once. You know, oh, you, you did a, it. You did that particular one. Yes. Right. Because it's one of the open mics in Brisbane. Okay. And I went yeah, up I there and and it's like a massive big hall and it's a big empty pub in a mm. i don't know if um the shopping centers are like a it feels like it's a west atta- it's attached to a food court yeah, yeah it's a westfield it's, it's a attached westfield. to a food court the fucking pub it's like it's what? right it couldn't have less so the of, entrance isn't it's there's it, an outside entrance but you can walk out and you're in the food court you have yeah. the tables and stuff. you know how those there's, there's some of those out. not like yeah there's like you know Burger King Subway and then there's like a little entry thing and, and go in there yeah. and it's big and whistle there is a like you said there's another way to get in but you're there and that's when the first time I did it um, a Brisbane comic drove me there and he's like we're doing this gig you know well, okay and we're driving and he pulls into the Westfield yeah. and I'm like oh we're going to, what are you getting from JB or something like you know <laughs> what do you need to get someone to he didn't I, and I'm like what are we doing here and he's like this is the gig and I'm like yeah. what and you just Green bright light. lights walking through Fuck. the hallways yeah. and then you go and you just go okay if it's a good setup that's fine but it is just a cavernous thing and you're so far away and no one sits anywhere near it. I can't see how it could work. It, like but, it, but it's unbelievable because I believe it's still going. But it, um, oh, it just, <laughs> and when I was there, there was just a guy on stage doing just horrible sex jokes. And then they're like, give it up for huge organ, everybody. Oh, I'm <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, this, that was the first huge guy who I saw. Yeah. Like, I've this heard is of all, huge organ. I'm like, this is all Brilliant. lining up for me to yeah. be the best gig European in fella, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple sort of, of I mean, there's enduring sort of feeling about comedy in general that it should work anyway if you're funny, it work anyway. But particularly in Queensland, they're like, mate, if you're funny you could stand on that fucking chair and yeah. make us all laugh. I think yeah, no, probably, you couldn't. No, you can't. I think it makes better comics with that attitude so people don't just oh the light was on and someone flicked the, the you know they a million excuses why he didn't do yeah, well but yeah. that is taking it to extreme oh, that fuck yeah. there's grim. absolutely no like <laughs> and, and the other thing is the MCs were always the headline act who done the run yeah so that, well, that's what I've never done so they were like good comedians and they were struggling Oh, hating it! If you, anyone I know has gone up and done the run, so it's fucking awful doing it's, that run. Yeah, I don't do it. It's, it's embarrassing, you know. Sounds terrible. Yeah, but the uh, 
But the pig and whistle. So that's a like. Did you go there? To is it? Would would people hang out there, no, or is it? I wouldn't think so. No. I, I've I've never had a drink there. To be honest, mm. I walked past it. I I used to work at the Kenmore Tavern. Right. That was a that was a fucking good haunt. Not yeah. A, well, not good. It was a suburban pub. Just pouring beer, beers. Or? Yeah. No, I was in the bottle in the drive through uh-huh. when we used to do drive through beers. Around. <laughs> and then That's the cushiest role you can get in the suburban oh, pub. Yeah, oh, I you reckon. fucking work. It used to be pat like out to the road and you're getting yelled at because there's cars on the mm. on the intersection and stuff. You're running the whole time. I quite liked it. But then I moved out to one of the satellite um, bottle shops out in Bill Barry about twenty Ks away. Right. Bit of a and slower you drive pace. There, much slower pace. <laughs> <laughs> Farmed you out. To yeah. Yeah. That's like the oh, inner great. city cop who just wants, you know, the slow yeah, beat yeah, out in yeah. the country. But it's gotten, it got busier. Like, yeah. you know, weekends are pretty busy. You get slammed for a few hours, but generally just reading books and yeah. sitting around, mucking around with your slingshot and fucking <laughs> kicking the ball around the <laughs> car park and stuff. Slingshot? Fuck, yeah, I'd take the slingshot. Oh, I had a slingshot all the time. I'd take fucking the slingshot out there. <laughs> it's pretty, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't doing it in this shop. I was yeah. just like... <laughs> Like, you just close it up, man. <laughs> yeah, you just close it up. Go, go away for five, ten minutes and shoot some shit. Or shoot some shit. Was it one of the ones that had the this thing that straps there as well. You know how you oh get the ones no, the bar no, I made that. it. I, I did have one of those with the strap. Yeah, but um, you weren't allowed to have them. You had to, I had to keep hiding it. And my old man I'm, made me and my brother one of those ones, and it came like, with a bit of scuba and stuff. It had the, yeah, and it, there, and we had the Fuck, scuba thing. Man, it's, and I was convinced because I just watched way too many ninja movies, and I was convinced that my reflexes were impeccable. Yeah, <laughs> I was born to be a ninja, and so I got Danny. We were like, he was probably eight, and I was oh. like ten, and I was like, "Hey, Danny, get up!" We lived across the road from like this grandstand, like it was a footy field, and I was like, "Get at the top of that grandstand. Here's a rock. You shoot it at me, <laughs> and I'm gonna do- I'm gonna dodge it. Like I'm just gonna, you're gonna yes. watch how amazing my ninja training has been." And he got always your ninja just off, watching movies. Oh, no, I used to watch movies and then I'd do like a bunch of push ups and go like jump like sneak You'd into the, the neighbors' montage. backyard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We used to have challenges where we'd sneak into the neighbors' backyards to steal stuff. Like it just at night and just mm. like I hope get, this continued and you became a parkour guy in your twenties. See, I'm worried if I if I was younger, I would have one hundred percent been a parkour guy. But oh, it was luckily it came in when I was like. But you became already. a cool podcast. Guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I don't do parkour. I do podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Danny got up and he pulls the slingshot back, and I was like, in, I was like, no, I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna dodge this this rock, and he just, I was like, go for it, go for it. And then it's the second I said that, I just heard. <laughs> like, like next to my head And I was like frozen still Like that would have yeah. killed me I would have oh, taken an yeah. eye out if it was, yeah. I just love your balls Like you're just like I've been fuck stealing me. Garden gnomes from next door <laughs> I've done yeah. a couple That's of push That's the same as like <laughs> Split the, second the face, Rock <laughs> dodging That's such a stretch I've, I've done 20 sit ups By yeah. gun Let's do this oh, Hit me fuck. baby My um We used to live on the back of um Bush like there was all, and there was all these fucking minor birds that would sit in the trees and just squawk. And my brother and my dad got so sick of them, they hatched a plan to get their air rifle license and shoot them all. Do you need, <laughs> did, so did, nice. do you need a license for an air rifle? Yeah, yeah, Fuck. yeah. So they're only any happy- state. What's yeah, happening? I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that you it, talk to Gladys. It wouldn't have been it. that. It would have been let's get an air rifle. Let's get a rifle and shoot him. Well, no, that's hard. Let's get an air rifle. Oh, now you got to get a license. Like he didn't know. He probably yeah, yeah. would have been halfway through like blowing gaskets. Like what the fuck? So you, then they had to buy a fucking gun safe and padlock it. Jesus. And then someone had to come around and inspect that was all. What year good. was this? Fucking like ten. Oh, well, I was still at home. So yeah, like. 15 years ago or something okay. like that? I had an air rifle until mum found it. It Like, 2005, 2006, she found it in the shed and, like, got it, rid of it. But it was, like, a proper air rifle. For serious? Yeah, yeah. It was but this, little, this was... Little pellets you'd put in one yeah, at a time. And, and, and then they used to have the sharp ends, but then they made... They were all snubbed mm. end by the end. This was, like... You had, like... It was. It looked like an oversized matchbox full of about 100, 200 of yeah. these little pellets. I don't know what they definitely didn't. It wasn't a fucking gun, but it was. You go, it was you, an air you, rifle. You crack it down, mm. like you have at the show. You crack it down. You put the one pellet mm, in. Maybe this was something fucking more hardcore. But they had to go and do like they had to join a gun club, and like or maybe they just did that for the sake of it or whatever. But yeah, just so they could fucking shoot. Oh no, this, this one was elite for sure. Some, elite. Some, oh right, some yeah, fuckheads yeah. I know got into skirmish the paintball 
thing yeah. when we're 18, 19, and then they discovered it's just too expensive to go out and do that. So they just did their own with air rifles, <laughs> motorcycle helmets, yeah. and like three pairs of jeans and, <laughs> and, oh, and all their jackets, and they'd shoot each other. And just watch Fucking the bruises crazy. go yeah. Oh, you yeah. It's, you, you must have got cane. Oh, oh, you'd know when you shot someone. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. And you, you're not scared. Get some of Just um, Danny does this as a bit, but it's a true story with his air rifle in dad's backyard. We'd go out there and shoot cans and you get like an empty can of dog food and you'd shoot it. And he had it like a, um, he used to, dad would like fuck with us every now and then. He'd be like, we'd be there and he'd be like, run. And we'd be like, Jesus Christ. And he'd like shoot over your head or whatever. Yeah. But one time he shot <laughs> and t- took Danny's leg out because Danny like sidestepped and he went like, oh, he went down and, and everyone's freaking out. And then dad's like, all right, I'm not, you know, no one's going to the hospital, but no one's mentioning this. Yeah. But, <laughs> but what's going to happen is I'll go put a leather jacket on and then you can shoot me. So then we all just took turns shooting each other in the back with what, these just leather jackets. As penance on. or as, like, as part of the story. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Barrel. Yeah, he was oh, like, nice. if you, I've shot you. It's only fair that you shoot me back. <laughs> and, just put like, and then we're like seven. We're throwing like three leather jackets on like, ah, taking one in the back. That's <laughs> right. Just don't tell your mum's lawyer about this. <laughs> yeah, crazy, yeah. I um just back to Chapel Hill. We I sent out a message. Anyone got any info on Chapel Hill? Just a quick story from uh, Jacob Lingard, friend, comedian, right. very funny man. He said, uh, "Man, fuck that place." <laughs> uh, I went to a rental inspection there when I first moved to Brisbane. I showed up and there was a dead dog on the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> the real estate agent came out of the house and I was like, "There's a dead dog." And she's like, well, it wasn't there before. <laughs> like, that changes Implying everything. that he killed it. <laughs> yeah. And just come inside as a dead dog. Which I assume must have been. I don't feel like the, that's the sort of area where there's just dead dogs lying around. But, nah, man. It's yeah. not a slum or anything. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, middle, yeah. Cl- probably upper class now, but it's pretty middle. Yeah, a lot of that's the other It's a very average rich, suburb. Rich people, well, yeah, but. Jackie said it was like the bougie part of Bogan, Australia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's still people with my accent there. Like right. anyone who grows up there should speak like me, but they don't. There's yeah. some poshies somehow. Yeah, right. like, fuck, I don't know. I'm yeah. on to you. <laughs> right. You used to get them to come into the bottle shop and try to be all posh. You go, I don't know what you fucking are, man. Just, <laughs> just get the spew, Manny. Don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> Stop trying to be an every man. Yeah. Did yeah. you have any, um, the like sort of local characters that everybody knew? Uh, working at the pub and a bottle and stuff, I'm sure you saw like, oh, yeah. the same oh, faces. Oh, yeah. Bottle shop then. people are f- fucking disgraceful. Like just <laughs> the worst people. Do you get the like, people coming in like when... Like you open and they they're like they're a minute oh, after, but yeah. pretending like they've never seen. Oh you no no no, they're they're shameless. I'd be I'd be in there setting up in my shop, and I'd just make them wait. Like ten <laughs> o'clock, I'd hide. And I'd be <laughs> under the counter. I've I've gotten all the till and everything ready. I just go fucking hide, and they're all you know holding on their hands up to the thing. Oh, where the fuck is he? You know? <laughs> and you just make them wait till like ten o three or something, oh. and they're desperate, and you're under the counter, just like. <laughs> <laughs> And you've got to wait till they turn around, you jump up and come out and go, oh, sorry, man, I was just at the back, just getting some of yeah. And they're twitching. Yeah. <laughs> my, uh, my old man used to do, he works as, um, he does a lot of work in like regional pubs um, and they're doing like building extensions and stuff. And he was there for a meeting at some place in like, oh, fucking near Coffs Harbour. And fuck the, the pokies and the, it's so sad because the, the pub's open at 10 and there's just this zombie cohort of people yeah. who come in and apparently they were all walking in and one morning and he was at, there for a meeting. There's no one else there, right? And there's no one there fucking having lunch or it's 10 a.m. And the fucking power cuts out and the po- all the pokies go down Uh-oh. and they're all standing around and then they're all looking and then they start turning and walking away and the fucking manager comes. There's an electrician doing something. The manager comes down. He's like, get the fucking power back on now. Oh, I gotta leave. And, so the, and my dad was sitting there watching like, and hope he doesn't get it like they're all going home or they're going to the pub or across the road or so and they're all like halfway out the driveway and then the guy's like clink and then zoom, they all come back and they all hear oh. it and they all turn around and come walking back in these fucking zombies grim. and dad's yeah. like this is the saddest thing i've ever fucking seen <laughs> man, man i'm surprised like they weren't all like i just want a feature like no it was before they were lining up to open oh, 10 a.m right. the okay. morning oh that's they're, even worse yeah they were like we're that's coming to worse. Yeah, they're coming to fucking get the pokies happening and, and they're just, yeah, like, who, like, uh, you know, oh, uh, at 10 a.m., it's just Yeah, unreal. fuck, man. Yeah. Some of them open earlier than that just yeah. for pokies, not beer. It's like, seven, you can get in and do the pokes. Yeah, there are a few Have places a slap. In, yeah, there are a few places in si- the city that are always like, yeah, we're 24 hours, and you're like, a 24-hour pub, and you go and you, like, try to get in, you're like, hey, can I get a beer? And they're like, no, 
fuck no. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's bro, irresponsible. Can I, can I go in and <laughs> yeah. put fifty dollars? Can I go in and put fifty dollars on where's the gold? They're like, yeah, sure. You yeah, want a beer, yeah. cunt? Like fifty dollars. Like I've seen, I got like cricket mates and stuff. I used to play with who would like put who would be playing three machines at once. Oh, God. Like the hot, and they were like plumbers and stuff. So they, you know, they'd have pretty good money, but it was just like. Um, you know, I don't know. It would sort of be up and down or whatever, but they would just smash their whole paycheck. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so they're just fucking sitting there playing like they're fucking like... Are you on yeah. wins, tips and tricks on Facebook? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's, that's, a great, right. that's a great page. Oh, it's sick. Pokies it, wins, tips and tricks. Is oh, it a man. Legit, is it, is it a well, it's a bunch of people that would post no, it's, wins. It's half and half, but it's real good. Very yeah. few tricks. A lot of people just posting their like massive, their wins. massive wins. There's a guy on there called... Uh, John Smith or something and he's, his photo his Facebook photo is just a pair of like undies, like black undies and like a old man's body and it's just a photo of his crotch and he must have some <laughs> weird like fine you know like a fin dom kind of thing yeah, yeah, but yeah. he's the opposite and he just all he do, ever does is post photos of like a lot of money being like Heading down to the casino tonight, everyone. Oh, yeah. And then he'll post like, lost it all. <laughs> and, he just, and, he, and he just loves people piling on him. Like, fuck off, John. You, can't, you suck. <laughs> like, oh, oh, that's man. so cool. Oh, that's yeah. very good. I yeah. got one of my fucking mates. Mum won. I think she won like 30 grand on the fucking lightning jackpot. What's that? At a pokey? Yeah. We, the lightning yeah. jackpot is like, you know, you win that pokey, this pokey. But they're all connected. And yeah. the lightning jackpot, they all have the same... They all connect and they, they all yeah, have like these major jackpot, jackpots. mini jackpot. Major. So if it goes off, it goes off once in the whole pub, and it pro- and the major goes off every and sometimes it just goes up to some stupid amount, and then you know yeah she won like thirty thousand bucks, but she was an absolute pokey fiend, and she came home and gave five grand to her two sons, which was fucking one the mate I knew, and then literally like a month later she was. Asking to borrow money off him because no, yeah. she just fucking yeah. smashed through it, and it's Jesus. just like it's so quick because it's like I've won thirty grand. He, his son, had five grand. I wonder, I've got more money than I know what to do with, and then it's such a turnaround. Like yeah. it's just unreal. Thirty Pretty good, like, yeah, fucking. What a know, time to be alive. Yeah. It is great. Like I remember being at the station at the Eastwood Hotel, and the Eastwood Hotel was a place that even back when we were like in our early 20s, the Eastwood Hotel would close the bar at about one, but the pokies would stay open until six. Mm. So you could see all sorts of vandals after after hours. You're allowed to drink if you're sitting in a poke? Oh, yeah. Right. They'd like, they'd bring them, I think they'd bring the VIP people stuff to drink, but mostly it was party pies and nibbles to keep mm. them gone. But like mm. they were people there. The VIP drinking. people, they get Crown Lager. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they, they didn't get the Ted's straight from the yeah. tap, and like we just, uh, I was just at the train station one time at about like six thirty in the morning, getting ready to go to work, and like this guy who I'd seen in the pokies at the pub the night before at about eleven was there, and he's like, "Yeah, good day, mate." And I was like, "Hey, man!" And oh god, he was like, <laughs> "Like the sort of the crossover thing. It's like you know, mosquitoes flies at night, and then in the morning it's like going to work." And the fucking degenerates finishing up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've yeah. all been on both sides of that. <laughs> oh, we, yeah. we like across the road from the KT is that Caltex that we were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've we'd been out all night just driving around in my mate's car, just fucking egging, just being vandals Fuck at yeah. seventeen. And <laughs> we stopped at like six o'clock. I never. I still think about this sometimes. My mate bought a chalky milk at the survey, and we're driving him home. And we're on that on that main road. And we're driving past that Caltex. There's a bus stop there, and people are in their suits and stuff ready to work and I didn't I thought he was just drinking a chalky milk but he's opened the top up the cardboard thing just launched it out the window and it's oh. it's just spread out <laughs> and it's, it's, it's real, got, it got all of it real buckshot you know like, <laughs> and was, yeah good spread just timed it perfectly I fucking got all and of it. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh I love that my mate because I grew up in um, it was weird because I went to a primary school in the little suburban area where you know the, the same suburb I lived, and oh, absolutely. We never had a, a guest ask for the second one. Normally, it's oh, sorry. No, no, no. It's great. We, we Am I taking we liberties? Uh, we normally have we that one as well. I'm it's not gonna normally because it's like <laughs> uh, a joke, but the crownies are actually going down. They're right. actually not that bad. But um, it's, yeah. It's just sorry. a beer in the end of the day. Yeah, well, yeah. it's more that they're they're the put offen- up on a pedestal exactly. as opposed to them being the offensive thing terrible. about crown is that it's 
Colton Draft, but they charge an extra three dollars. Like, yeah, right. As opposed, oh. to I always have like it looks good on the lazy Susan though, like a two a.m. lazy Susan. <laughs> yeah. Pretty oh, good absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you. That's, that's where why I think best. it's the eighteenth of choice beer because like a fucking uh, and, yeah. you know like an esky full of these empty. You're like, oh, we had a right. Ra- we had a good one. You know, <laughs> we fucking partied like kings. Where it's like the closest we get to being entourage. Yeah. Two thousand five. But this guy, I remember. Like I was at the station. This guy. And like I had changed because I was going to work. He's like, "You've changed, mate." And I was like, "Yeah, man, it's it's seven. <laughs> 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 and I was just like, "Yeah, yeah." How'd, how'd you go? I, you know, trying to do pokies talk and stuff. I was like, "I pulled out fifty from where's the goal? Pretty good." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, 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 great." Um, lost it all. Yeah. And oh, I was like, God. "Oh, what's it all?" And he was like, ten thousand dollars." Oh, <laughs> and he was like. And he was like He's like, I've got to go home now to my wife in oh. Strathfield from Eastwood, 20-minute train tour ride. And he was like, can you buy my ticket for me? And oh. I was just like, oh, oh. Man. man. And that, that's one where you're just like, oh, man, the pokies are an evil thing. Yeah. So did you and then like, I came home, told all my friends, and were like, fuck, he got rinsed. Where's the gold tonight? And we're like, yeah, we can fucking win this one. Did you tonight. buy his ticket? I did buy his ticket for him. Okay, yeah. here's, here's the, the twist. Maybe he was just scamming you for the ticket. Oh man, I that's an know. elaborate fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how my mind's Trickers. going. You know, oh. I can see ba- a pigeon right on, there. Based on the look of that guy, and I the guess smell so. Of that guy, I guess so. He was about to tell his wife that he'd lost it. I've all. done that before. I was into um, went to a family holiday to fucking where we go Thailand, and this guy come up to me. He's American. He's like, "Oh man, how you going? You're Australian, yeah? Uh, I, I, someone stole my passport, and I need twenty dollars to go to the." And I'm like a fucking seventeen year old idiot. I'm like, "Oh my god, dude, yeah!" And I gave him twenty. Like effectively twenty bucks, whatever that was in, you know. And I'm like, that, you know, on your way. And when I'm told that, he's like, you got scammed, you idiot. That was a fucking scam. They do that's the fucking oldest yeah, trick in the book. Yeah. They just said, and I'm just sitting there like a fucking loser. I thought <laughs> yeah, I'd yeah. been like the humanitarian of the year, you know, <laughs> <laughs> save this poor UNICEF fucking guy. Is calling. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like a loser. Traveling but, to a poor country and helping an American guy yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Which like is poverty like, relief. You know, but I'm like, <laughs> you know, but uh, but he was like, I can't get the fucking airport. Over. But um, yeah, I was just saying about egging is I, because I grew up in the, like, you know, we, I would never dream of doing something like that in the primary school era with my friends. And then we went to the high school, which was in the suburb over, over and all our friends from that would play cricket with, we're all, it was more of a rough part of town. They're all like fucking like live with their fucking, you know, you know, mom with no dad around and they were just fucking maniacs. And my, my mate's mom would just, was one of those like single moms who just couldn't say no to his son. So he would get her, his mum to drive him and my other mate around at night when they're like 15 and they would fucking throw onions at people. From her car. From her car. While she's driving. While she's driving. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I know. Yeah. Be, and so That's he'd, amazing. Be like, he'd be like, mum, can you drive us around? And she'd be like, all right. And she just, she was like this old walk, walk lady. She's very lovely, but she just couldn't fucking say no. <laughs> and she'd be like, Tony, do you have to bloody do this? You know? And he was slow like, down, slow down, mum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then he fucking just throw on onions. Oh, that's so and good. Onions and egg, is a yeah, good yeah, one. yeah. I know yeah. onions. And, onions uh, fucking fuck. hurt too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, that eggs would, fucking hurt. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know. That would egg people too. But for some reason, I found that onion so funny. And then they'd be like, <laughs> we'd be sitting around strategizing because we we're gonna egg this guy's house because we used to play cricket out the front of his house. And there was a neighbor across the road who hated us. And every time they, we, you know, hit a a four or over there he'd come out and he'd like have this stink eye and fucking throw it back or whatever and so we were like after the game like strategizing right we're gonna eat his fucking house there's like a guy across the road and his mum's sitting there listening to the whole thing you know, I was like, why don't you boys just leave an egg on the doorstep and then he'll know that you, not to mess around with you. Like, he's, he's kind of like, why is that? Like down? a horse's head yeah, in the Yeah, 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 right. yeah. And we just laugh or off. Just leave one there. This next one's coming faster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this next one will break, man. And so we just egg you. But it's like, uh, she had no gumption to be like, Hey, don't right. egg our neighbour because I'm gonna have to deal with this yeah. as an adult, you know. But uh, I was it corrupted us, like, you know, suburban you know, affluent kids would go hang out with these kids, and we just went wild. Oh, so, is yeah. egging the weapon of choice? Fuck yeah, for you. we fucking loved egging. Yeah, well, so I, I had a job I don't when think I was I've ever egged anyone. Oh, it's it's sick. You got to listen out. It's man. unreal. Well, one, I, I got a job when Maybe I was about sixteen. We go egging. <laughs> yeah. Grab it, does yeah, it? Once it turns dark, we can go egging if you want. Yeah, you're on your fucking own though. Once it's done, I'm running off. Yeah, that's that's where it loses me. We don't stick together. People will catch me very quickly. Yeah, well, you fucking not dropping my 
no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking. That's what I say to my kids when I take their egging. Like, <laughs> you don't know me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just an older gentleman hanging around with young children. <laughs> you know, driving you do. No driving relation. your kids around, just handing onions and things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As long as those are. Oh, he's the fucking egg. I remember. Once we ran out of eggs, like I, I, mm. I had a job when I was about 16, just washing up at this suburban Chinese restaurant a few suburbs away, and I walked out the back to the garbage section at the end of the night, and I saw like a, a box of eggs that had gone off, and someone had left them there for one of the other restaurants. So I rang my mate from the, I had to tell the restaurant guy, I said, I've got to call my friend, sorry, he's going to come <laughs> pick me up. And he goes, yeah, and I, I used the phone, I rang my friend, I said, you've got to fucking pick me up. This is the, yeah, it's like... The, Probably 250 eggs in this. And they're going off too. You know yeah, what I mean? It was yeah. fucking unbelievable. Uh, One real. of the best nights of my life. <laughs> like it took, it took a solid six hours of egging to oh. offload them. Yeah. And then, like the next week, we're like, you know, coming down off that. Mm. Like, fuck, what are, you, what are we going to do? We've got no money, got no eggs. It's like a Sunday night. Yeah. And he's driving around. We're just driving around his Hilux, just doing fuck all. And he goes, like, he didn't even say anything. We was driving past. It's only about 8 o'clock on a Sunday night. He just stopped outside this real posh house and just reversed up onto the grass and reversed towards the house. And there's a family inside watching telly. And they're, like, like looking at this car that's reversing towards their house. Kids and shit as yeah. well. And parents are going, what's going on? There? And then he's just fucking gunned it and just mugged <laughs> Mud all over the window, oh the front window, Lord. and two huge trenches across the nice grass. Oh, that and that was it. Yeah, fucking And they're just, having, they're just sitting watching TV, yeah. watching Friends or something. Yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah. Well, I love it. We, we, the worst thing I did, because I was like a good kid growing up, parent, never got in trouble, and then, yeah, got fairly corrupted by my friends. And then the, the pinnacle was my brother was having, I think it was like his 16th birthday party. And we lived at the bottom of this hill and up the hill, up the road was my mate's house, like four houses up. And so he, my brother's having his 16th birthday party and they're all hanging around near the front and I, we go up and we're 18, so we're drinking at my mate's house and we get really pissed. And then I'm like, I got an idea. So I fucking run down home and go in and my mum's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, nothing. And I go in the fridge, get a carton of eggs, <laughs> sneak it up the hill. And then from up the hill, we just egg my brother's birthday party. <laughs> and we're just throwing eggs at him and all his friends. And he's like, what's going on? <laughs> you and mum was furious. Like, I've never, never Did been... she know? Yeah, she, she's like, you came in and got eggs out of our fridge <laughs> <laughs> and egged your brother's party. <laughs> your brother knows, right? Yeah, of course. Like, it was, it was so was dumb. Was your dad proud of you? Oh, I can't remember. Mum was furious, but she, because she's like, what are you doing? And then she, you know, your mum knows if there's eggs in the fridge or not. So she goes and looks, there's none there. The party's egged. I came in. She's not an idiot. She's put it all together, you, you know? the biggest grin on your face. And I, oh, I, afterwards, I was like, what am I doing, you know? But uh, that was a fucking worst. Just egging all these idiot friends, you know? They fucking deserved it. I remember yeah. going trick or treating when I was about 12 or 13. I just took a dozen eggs and I was with another bloke. <clears throat> And the trick was you just fucking egg them if yeah. they don't give you something. But then I didn't really... Like, I just remember just someone out the door and just egged them. <laughs> and, <laughs> trick or plan. Yeah, they egg did, and run. Yeah, yeah and, and the, the other guy's like, don't you want some chocolates? No, I'm not really. I've got fucking, you know, people keep giving us it. I don't really, you know, it's whatever. I don't like it that know. much. Whatever. I was just not fucking not egg them. Egg. I've, got, oh. I've got 11 eggs left. Fuck. <laughs> I can picture Jamie, like everyone going out egging and then Jamie's like, can't we just egg this fry pan? <laughs> I'm mean, get an omelet I mean, together. You're basically right. Like, would, yeah, like as soon as I got home, I would be like, it's mean and a waste of precious mm. egg. <laughs> I went through a phase. Do you remember the, um, you could buy them at like prank stores or whatever that, and then you'd squeeze like a little bubble and it would inflate and then, like it was like a stink bomb. Like, oh, like a fart bomb. Things? Yeah, fart yeah. bomb. I went through a phase where we would go around to people's houses just like on a weekend, you know, 12, 13. And we'd just pop them, open the front screen door, just throw it into the house, shut the door and just take off. And you hear like, what the hell was that? It's all over the carpet. <laughs> uh, it probably takes a month to get stink <laughs> yeah, out. I, I was thinking about them the other day. I haven't seen them forever. They I guess rule, it, man. Like, I don't know where... You, do you get them from magic trick shops and stuff? You like you wouldn't get them at Woolies. I've never the seen internet, a magic trick imagine. Shop. Just, yeah, you don't okay. go, on the, eBay. go on the dark web. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get a VPN. Like, do you want an AK forty seven? You're like, no, I want one of those little fart squirty. <laughs> <laughs> Someone like, selling two hundred and fifty yeah. rotten eggs. <laughs> <laughs> like, Man, about tw- about ten years ago, the internet was fairly new. To, when it came out, I was like, fucking. 
didn't get into it. And 10, 15 years ago, I was like, fuck, internet, sick. Just got maggot one night, forgot what I did. And then a week later, got a package in the mail and there's like three pull my finger fart pens, <laughs> uh, like a twenty pack of whoopee cushions, yeah, just so just fart based fucking that's so funny. party joke shit. Turn up and I was like, what the fuck is this? Uh, I love how you just I did it. when you get that drunk, you just go back to the like ten year old sense of humor, which is so fucking. Remember that time we were hanging out and with Nat at our place, and I have one of those Google, you know, like a, a speaker where it's like, hey Google, play the thing or whatever. And we were all drunk, and then Nat's like, "This is really funny." And he's like, "Hey Google, play farts." And then, and then it fucking started just literally playing fart noises. Like, <laughs> and it was we're just dying. We're, dying, yeah. we're just it's like, like it can't. Music. It can crush harder than any comic I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Just like uh, any just a well, fucking Mr. robot Mr. playing Mr. Methane real was fart noises. The whole noises. thing. Mr. Yeah. Methane was just a guy who farted on I stage and. He's still going. Yeah. He's, is he? He's British or something, right? Yeah. yeah. Man, his ass must be fucked by now, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how he. Yeah, yeah, Luke, you'd know, right? <laughs> Luke, come on, man, tell us. Oh, I, I, I've, I've told you story. I've told you this story at the pub before. I don't think I've told it on the pod, but uh, one, uh, one Anzac Day, mm. my mate Davis got like this is kind of an internet story as mm. well. He got fucking maggot, and we're at the RSL, and he'd done the dawn service as well with my mate Matt, and so like I, by the time I'd woken up and got ready and met them at the RSL at eleven, they're already completely blown. All oh, right, just been like respect the troops, you know, rum and milk. Yeah. Yeah, 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 doing all that shit, just being like we got to have what the diggers had, yeah, <laughs> and you're yeah. just like tasting, and you're like this is disgusting, mm-hmm. and so I was like sitting there for a few hours with them, and they were just talking about like. You know, talk shit being like, if we ever went to war, I'd like to think that we'd defend the country. Uh, and I was like, yeah. you fucking miscreants. And they yeah. were like, and I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I would. And they were like, well, that's on Australia. Yeah, and they're yeah. just, you know, doing the whole thing. Being like, <laughs> on, the, on the day of days, this is the day where you say you'd join the army. So I was like, yeah, all right. And then, like, my mate Davis got more drunk and aggressive. And he's a fucking idiot. He's, like, one of the smartest people I've ever met, but also the biggest dead shit you've ever met. Mm. There's a real deep, dopey voice. And he's just, like, got being like, oh, the fucking army. Fucking go to war with the boys. And uh, <laughs> so it's like, and I was living with him at that point. So I, I was like, all right, man, let's go home. I took him home. And we're sitting on like our couch, like smoking cigarettes indoors. And he was just like, fucking, you wouldn't go to war, Kirko? And I was like, nah, mate. And he was like, oh, fuck. Oh, no, I would. I would. We got to do it for the, what if World War broke out right now? And I was like, well, I don't know, man, we're fucking going to uni, you know? And I was like, <laughs> I was like I'm in the middle of a media in writing degree. <laughs> What are you, you going to put me in infantry? Like, <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to bed. It's like one in the morning. And I, I'm, he's like, all right, I'm going to... And he had already loaded up like 20 YouTube videos of like patriotic Australian songs and stuff. <laughs> and so I woke up at about six in the morning to take a piss and get a drink of water. He's passed out completely nude on his couch. And there's just this open laptop. And there are like four windows open. And it's just like a succession of like failures. The first is like him just like drunkenly. It says like army dot co, and then I was like, oh fuck, this cunt's trying to join the army. Yeah, and then yeah. the second one is like army dot com dot au, and then the third one is like a Google saying how to join army. Oh, <laughs> and, then, and then the fourth one is just a three quarters full application for the Australian oh, Defence Force. Oh. I was so tempted to just click send. <laughs> but, <laughs> I was like, I like sat there for a good 10 minutes because I was like, Davis, Davis, wake up, mate. And he was like, ooh, because when he sleeps, he gets really like deep into his sleep and he just wouldn't. I was like, fuck, I could, like, I know enough about him to fill this yeah. out. Like, all his documents are here. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. That's what you want like, from a guy in the army, someone who can't be roused out of sleep <laughs> as well, you know, yeah, on the yeah, battlefield. Yeah. And they're like, mate, they're coming. Like, well, oh. I was just like, imagine fucking like, like, you know, an Ali Ermi type from Full Metal Jacket meeting my mate Dave. Oh, yeah. Just been... Well, I know the army love applications coming in at 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> they know that it's from the heart. Yeah. I mean, they might, like every Anzac day. On Anzac like, day, too. Yeah. Yeah. Ones at 2 a.m. The web... They must be just like, these go straight to junk, man. Yeah, yeah. I read the, the government's army website spikes at fucking Anzac day at oh, 2 a.m. Yeah. Sure. My favorite was just the fact that he typed army.com <laughs> and hoped that that would get <laughs> him. Sounds like the American army. Yeah. I, I love mates who just have ridiculous thoughts. It's 
primate like you with your fucking ninja bullshit. But my mate, for some reason, big fella, was like, oh, I'm going to watch a bunch of fucking UFC. And was like, I reckon I can do MMA. Oh, no, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And so I love he, this. So he signed up to fucking... Uh, he signed up to an MMA gym to do like a, a court. He would have been 31 by this time. You know what I mean? Like he's not having some like late resurgence for a title. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and he was a big fella, but just misshapen and just not, not going to happen. And anyway, the first fucking session, they would have done a little bit of whatever. And then the first time they start doing rolling around, they fucking roll him around and he just drops his guts in like mid roll you know, on the guy because he squeezed his gut in at one of the fucking maneuvers and the trainer's like nah it happens all the time don't worry <laughs> and he was so embarrassed he never went back I'm like oh there you know could have had a great career in the fucking MMA with you you know so, um, the egging thing was mm. that a was that a pre-drinking or post-drinking thing was that you when you were like oh we don't know whether to go to pubs yet or was that just like yeah fuck it we do it straight through oh it was yeah the my, my prime egging years were probably from about <laughs> 15 through to 20 yeah. yeah so yeah pre and post drinking but <laughs> i could you know pre being allowed into pubs yeah. i'm a bit more lax with pubs i looked really young so it was harder when i was 17 i was i was young too like everyone was 18 so did you have mates of the way 18 and you were on yeah the yeah for like a full year so did you try oh. did you have a fake idea or anything not really, but you could get into some pubs. Just taking them from out then, the car park through the window. But then I, I just was a fucking vandal. Yeah, I just, yeah. just whatever. You, they're like ID, and you just have an egg in your hand. Yeah, just and hold an egg. Yeah. I think you'll find. <laughs> yeah. This is all the identification yeah. I need. So. Yeah. Well, well, like sunny a queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Open the jacket. And just yeah, all yeah. these eggs hanging there. Yeah. It's like a Morpheus red pill, blue <laughs> yeah. pill, but it's just so egg and no egg. Yeah. Once you start drinking, I assume like at for, like in Chapel Hill, like it was a big house party scene. Yeah, just always parties i had my mate uh lived around the corner actually who you'd know osher ginsburg oh, oh yeah, wow. yeah. he grew up he grew up very close to me so and his oh. he had parties all the fucking time man it was yeah. sick like his yeah his parents were v- the parents that just were very supportive of his kid having a bloody good time he seems like a bit of the a rest of our hi- parents hippie, hippie parent sort of thing yeah was that a bit like that a bit free spirit and yeah they're cool wow. it was mostly all well, his mum he's um, would just uh, and they and they worked as well. They'd work at night as doctors, and oh. you'd go around to his place and just be fucking forty people there. Sometimes. Holy shit! And then his mum would come home at six and go, oh, "Do you boys want some bacon and eggs?" Yeah, sure, man. Fuck yeah. It was fucking <laughs> sick, That's and strange. it was such a it was, it was that house, and he was such a great host, and it was it was an excellent time. Yeah, <laughs> for that. But I, that would yeah, have probably taken like a lot of trouble off the streets just having like a bit of oh, a fun house sure. you know what i mean yeah although the few the couple of blocks around his house did get egged a fair bit <laughs> <laughs> just on my way yeah. just yeah, on my yeah, way yeah, yeah, yeah. his mum's like do you want some bacon and eggs oh, i'm sorry i got no eggs yeah. Luke's like, oh, i've got you Hang on. <laughs> here's a couple <laughs> oh shit i love a fucking good yeah we didn't we had there was a good six months where we were like too young but we were drinking but we couldn't get into pubs so we would just drive around and there wasn't enough parties on to satisfy our need to go out and cause mischief. So there'd be like weekends where you're just driving around trying to find out if there's a party on. Three out of the four or five, uh, four out of the four or five blokes in the car were drinking. Someone was Dezo driving. Yeah. Yeah. And there was just, a, it was chaos because it was like you just have to get out this energy somehow. Yeah. You got a party, you'd behave yourself, have a bit of fun, whatever. But then it would just be, it would just fucking egging stuff. And like fucking, you know, not robbing stuff, but just like <laughs> causing mischief, you know, like stealing yeah, shit out of people's yeah. lawns and oh, stuff. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, a yeah. mate of mine had a midnight dawn shift at the servo once. This wasn't in our suburb, and I, I don't know why I thought it'd be, I thought it'd be a good idea to just put my balaclava on. And just, <laughs> no, but just run past. I didn't go inside. <laughs> I just like ran through the thing, just ran straight through and kept running and didn't go back or anything. Scared the fuck out of him. So. I love how you just had not, a balaclava, by the way. Like, have what? you not got a balaclava? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I will well, now. Yeah. You need one in the in the cold clime of Brisbane. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the suburbs are breezy. <laughs> oh fuck! We, I'll just get a shit. Me and a mate once were drinking and found we were just exactly the same thing. Like not. Not robbing per se, but yeah, just just, just stealing stuff like your honor. Yeah. Save it for the judge. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of per se happening but between you guys. We, there was a guy, there was a car and uh, or a ute and a boat like strapped to it, and we got in the boat, and then we found we'd already found like a um, you know, just like a trolley that like you'd move a fridge on, and then we found a um, 
a fire extinguisher on, on the boat and we went back to the party that we were at and we're like how this will be great like i'll get on the, the trolley and you wheel me in and i'll be like Shh, and, and like, everyone will love it no but everyone hated it <laughs> like, this sucks you know? like and we're like oh fair enough we just threw it away and but now like the like years later i always think like this poor can't can imagine him on a boat a small fire starts. He's oh, like, don't yeah. worry, I've got the fire extinguisher, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fucking fire well, he's just gone down. He's like, I hope someone had a real good laugh. <laughs> I hope people looked Not real even. cool. <laughs> I hope someone was a hero of an 18 my, my mate used to fucking like steal family photos from house parties. So we'd go... <laughs> to, yeah. That's, That's evil. That's a good like, take. That's but he would, we would like be hanging out and then we'd leave the party or whatever and then he'd just pull out from out of his pants this frame photo of the family. Like, oh, look, a nice family. Like, like what are you what are you doing uh, like, you just get them all just, like, great. and you wouldn't even tell anyone until we'd left and he'd have them down funny. his fucking pants I, uh, I had a friend of a friend who used to go to parties that weren't part of my high school but like peripheral friends who would shit in weird places in the oh, house and just I've leave them mates. there and that always like he he would like come out with like a big smile on their face and be like what'd you do Max and he'd be like I shit in the bag and I put it under the girl's 18th bed. Oh. <laughs> and he'd be like, and he'd be like yeah, and well, he'd be like, well, the trick is, like, the bag seals in the smell for the first few days. Oh, <laughs> so oh man. Harder. And then you're like, man, this is evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to go to parties with, because I had, I had very little money, whatever, I'd work a bit, but you'd have to, you know, pay my way pay for uni and stuff. You've got no fucking money. I'd go to 18th or 21st with a card. And you go to the gift table and just fucking swap it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the old gift I table ATM. A, oh, there. Oh, no, no, no. Just sticky tape your card onto something. <laughs> oh. You get some. You get That's some. very clever. Oh, shit. I'm going to start doing, that, up with I'm gonna start doing that at a wedding. Yeah. So oh, very oh, clear. Yeah. I'll just be like, that was Jamie gave you this neutral bullet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't show up and provide so nothing. <laughs> And not, not only that, not, the person giving it won't ever know. The, the person receiving it will just be like, that prick never gave me any money. Yeah, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you know, Luke left a lovely card. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck I love her. a good... I remember when I was growing up, like the suburban pub was the RSL. That was the place to be because it always changed. Like before that, it was like the tavern where like a lot of fights were, but then it became the RSL, which was kind of like, we're classy. We've got electronic roulette and whatever. Mm. And one time... And like it would pack, like it was a who's who of the hills. So nobody's basically. <laughs> but like I remember one time being there and I was never like a big NRL watcher. Like the only encounter with the NRL I'd ever had was like when my mate, when I turned 18, my mate took me out of school at lunchtime, took me to the TAB and I bet on the Bulldogs and Willie Mason to score the last try and I won 90 bucks. I was like, fuck, I love that champion. Mm. And that was my experience with NRL basically. But one time we're at the Castle here, I said, RSL and you know like uh, suburban pubs that kind of like function as a sort of nightclub on Friday yeah. nights yeah. the yeah. line to the grim. toilet gets very big very grim very quickly so I'm like standing in line with my mate who's dying to piss and, like I was kind of like on the edge of dying to piss and it's a fucking long line we're waiting there for like 20 minutes and also you know these suburban pubs like it's always like a place with uh, one cubicle for the stage fright man and then like three urinals packed tight together for the fucking blokes. Yeah. And so you, you always watch that. You're always waiting, watching the person appeal off, be like, I'll just wait for the cubicle, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, what a shit. pussy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I believe that's An Andrew Bensley still does that in his yeah. 30s. <laughs> Every now and then. But I, as, uh, I was like waiting in line, waiting in line, waiting in line. And like, I, I was just like, fuck, I, like, I'd like to go to the cubicle because there are a lot of fucking big units here. Like bigger than usual. But what, but are they, what are they going to do if you piss it? Yeah, Look, yeah, yeah. Just get a tape measure and be like, oh, yeah, well, yeah. someone just pulls like, up short. Yeah. Man. <laughs> but like, I, I, I just didn't. So like, I, I'm standing between like these huge, two huge units and I just like flop my dick out and I couldn't piss. And I was just like, oh, uh, whatever. Stage fright. So I was just like, I was drunk as shit as well. So like, I was like, eh, you know what? Comedian in the making I'll make a joke out of it and oh, I was like, So yeah, I just looked Christ. at the two boys They're I was probably... like I can't piss I've got stage fright <laughs> <laughs> These two huge units Looked at me And I hear like My two friends laughing at me From behind the queue And I was like Yeah they think that's a sick joke They, I, they love it They love what I'm bringing And I just walked out And they were laughing so hard And I was like Yeah didn't I Didn't I just fucking get them and they're like 
What are you talking? You were pissing next to Mark O'Neill, the captain of the Bowman West Tigers. Oh. <laughs> you just told him you had stage fright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> pissing to, next to this professional sports. What was he going to do? Slap you on the back. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, mate. Like, you We've all back. been there. You he know? was like, you got to go for the conversion. Oh, mate. God. <laughs> we probably should, yeah, we should wrap, probably it up, wrap it up. Right? So we've got one more question we always ask. Yeah. So, uh, oh, yeah. you know, mid fly brawl's gone great. You know, you've crushed it. <laughs> yeah. Nick Cody's done the 24-hour flight simulator around the world. You guys are making Patreon money. You, you bashed it for the Patreon money. Sometimes I bash myself in my sleep. <laughs> for having a podcast. podcast about plane simulator. Yeah, yeah. driving those fucking planes. You, you've bridge. accomplished every goal that you've ever wanted to accomplish. When all is said and done, would you move back to Chapel Hill? Absolutely not. No, it's not going to happen. There's not no enough money in the world. fucking way, man. I'd, yeah. I, I went traveling straight after I finished uni, and every time I came home, it's like, oh, nah. I've got to work for two months for my plane fare, and I'm, and I'm not even a, again. Not even a, a day of, you know, nostalgic, like, oh, this is sort of nice. It was just straight away, or not, like, not I'll enough. buy my parents' house, you know. No, nah, we drove month. past mum's house, like, recently when we were up there, and I showed my family. I didn't go in. I'm like, yeah, this is it. This is it. Well, my brothers and I used to belt the fuck out of each other. <laughs> <laughs> and you That's better it. do the same I thing. I bet you guys Let's get back in the car. walk back in the so. car and then you're like, hold on a minute, turn around. All right, so that's a big resounding no for Chapel Hill. Yeah. But do you uh, have any? Uh, well, it sounds like a lovely suburb. Just nothing. Oh, it's much. fine. It's just, it's just yeah, yeah. you wouldn't go. You've had your time there. You've done your. You've done your time there. Like yeah. you know, just what so can that, you get yeah. out of going back? Just so the yeah. people of Chapel Hill don't come for us with pitchforks. Being like, no, not at all. I don't resent you. my childhood. No, it was, no, it was no. great. But oh. that's the thing is that there's definitely good childhood suburbs and then there's good adulthood suburbs. You know, so as an adult, if you're moving there, you're going for the free babysitting because your mum's near there or something. Oh yeah, like you're not fucking. You're not, you're not going there for, you know, grow up. No. Don't, don't. <laughs> so you can walk down the Caltex and have a fucking medium rest sirloin, you know? That's not, that's not really what you're doing. Order yeah. a medium rare at the Bowser. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, we, so the pod, your pod is Mid-Flight Flight Brawl. Yes. On all Nick the pods. Cody, Nick Cody. Nick Cody. Fucking hot Do you hot have anything stuff. else you want to plug? Any shows? You're doing a tour? Any big really? shows coming yeah. up? Oh man! Oh yeah, I'm, I'm touring. I'm doing a regional uh, New South yeah. Wales tour. Oh, Fuck yeah. where starts are you going? Maybe before this is even out, it starts. I'm going to like Bathurst, Katoomba, Sick. Newcastle, Wollongong, uh, Jarvis Bay, Nowra, places like this. Oh, all well, New South Wales. Now, yeah, we Nowra's just did out. An episode on well, now it's coming out. All right. On Sam Monday. Taunton, uh, Nowra King. We just did Nowra. A lot. You got to go. Uh, are you, what day are you in Nowra? Thursday night is the, is the uh, titty night. Titty night, titty night. <laughs> at the uh, at the, the bridge tavern. <laughs> Hopefully not Thursday night. I want some, <laughs> <laughs> I want some people to come. <laughs> 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 Like Haggy Titty Night. All right. <laughs> Luke's doing two for ones, it looks like. <laughs> All right. That was great. Oh, thanks man. so much, yeah, Luke. Thanks. Yeah, oh, man. We'll thanks for having me. Thanks a lot, Luke. We'll thanks, see everybody. Up. See ya. Bye.